Mayor Eric Adams proposed budget cuts have hit almost every city agency, including the school system. And now teachers are fighting back. Briella Tomasetti, she is live on the Upper East Side with the latest. Good morning, Briella. Yeah, Tashani, good morning to you. They are fighting back, as in they filed a lawsuit against the city. That complaint asks a judge to reinstate the education budget to the same level as last year, which is $14.5 billion. It also criticizes the mayor's handling of the migrant crisis, which Adams says will cost nearly $12 billion by mid-2025. The United Federation of Teachers, though, is calling that number a, quote, unverified estimate. In a new showdown between the United Federation of Teachers and Mayor Adams, the union is suing the city to halt massive budget cuts to public schools. The 35-page lawsuit was filed yesterday in Manhattan State Supreme Court. It reads in part, The approximate $547 million in immediate budget cuts to the New York City School District announced on November 16, 2023, together with the further cuts proposed that may amount to close to $2 billion stripped from city schools this fiscal year and next, will have a far-reaching and devastating impact on teachers and New York City children. The, the parents, the children, the teachers are the ones the ones who are fighting for our school system and not our administration. The lawsuit alleges that Adams violated a state law which prevents the city from cutting education spending unless overall revenues decline. According to court documents, the city collected $8 billion more in revenue last fiscal year than projected. UFT President Michael Mulgrew explains. We have historic revenues in the city of New York. Our rev we have an historic reserves in the city of New York. And yet we continue to see numbers that there is no documentation and everything that we know that we have already spent on the asylum seekers does not ever come close to saying that the schools should have any sort of cut. Adams argues that the city was forced to cut spending to deal with the skyrocketing cost of housing asylum seekers. So far, cuts have slashed billions of dollars from city programs, including the NYPD, the FDNY, and Department of Education. Another round is on the table for January and then April. This unforeseeable crisis that we're facing of 100, over 150,000 migrants and asylum seekers, $5 billion this year, $12 billion over three years, uh, it hurts us. In June, Adams and the UFT agreed on a new five-year contract that gives teachers big raises and bonuses of up to 20 percent. The mayor was sure to point that out when defending his decision, referencing Mulgrew specifically. He agrees that he had a 90-something percent ratification vote from his membership. His member stop, membership stops me all the time and say thank you. And so when we need the court to determine what the next steps forward are, uh, we will go, uh, have to go to court and do that. Yeah, and again, these are quite far-reaching impacts. The first round of budget cuts slashed $120 million from the Universal Pre-K program and nearly $20 million from Summer Rising. For now, though, we're live here on the Upper East Side. Deshani, back to you. Briella, thank you.